In this tutorial, we will see how to calculate productivity. Productivity is a measure of how effective a company uses its resources. Productivity is expressed as a ratio of outputs to one or more inputs. Productivity ratios are commonly used to plan workforce requirements, schedule equipment, and for financial analysis. There are three related measures of productivity. All three are calculated as output divided by inputs. What difference are the components used as inputs? In all cases, output is the same and can be measured in either dollars or units. In single factor productivity, which is also known as a partial productivity measure, a single input is used. It could be labor hours, labor dollars, machine hours, machine dollars, or any other measure in which the company is interested. With a multi factor productivity, more than one input is used. For example, labor and machine utilization might be combined. When more than one input is used, the inputs are always measured in dollars. Otherwise, adding them together does not make sense. After all, what does it mean to add labor hours and machine hours? With total productivity, all inputs of the production process are included and all are measured in dollars. In this example, 8,000 units were produced. The cost were $2,000 for labor, $1,000 for material, and $3,000 for overhead. We wish to compute labor and material single factor productivity measures, the labor and material multi factor productivity measure, and total productivity. Output is $8,000, so this will be used as the numerator for all the fractions. For labor productivity, labor costs are $2,000, so $8,000 divided by $2,000 equals 4.00. Material cost is $1,000, so material productivity is $8,000 divided by $1,000 equals 8.00. For this multi-factor productivity, we need to combine labor and material, so we have $8,000 divided by the sum of $2,000 and $1,000, or $8,000 divided by $3,000, which equals 2.67. Finally, for total productivity, we add all the labor costs together and get $2,000 labor plus $1,000 material plus $3,000 overhead for a total cost of $6,000. This makes total productivity of $8,000 divided by $6,000 equals 1.33. Now, what do these numbers tell us? Each dollar of labor yields $4 of output. Each dollar of material yields $8 of output. Each dollar of variable cost, that is labor plus material in this example, yields $2.67 of output. Finally, each dollar of input yields $1.33 of output. In this next example, 1,000 units were produced and they have a value of $20 each. Production used 125 labor hours at a cost of $15 per hour. Production used 200 pounds of material at a cost of $5 per pound. Finally, overhead was estimated to be $2,000. We wish to compute labor and material single factor productivity measures, the labor and material multi factor productivity measure, and total productivity. Since you've seen an example already, let me suggest that you pause the video and try to work this problem on your own. Once you're done, you can use the video to check your work and spot any mistakes you might have made. Labor productivity is a single factor productivity number, so we can use either units or dollars in the calculations. Generally, you would only calculate the value one way using whichever method was requested by your textbook. However, for completeness, we will compute it all four possible ways. Using units for both output and labor, we have 1,000 divided by 125, so each hour of labor yields 8 units of output. To convert output to dollars, we multiply output times its value of $20. This gives us $20,000, which divided by 125 gives us 160. So each hour of labor yields $160 in output. Leaving the output as units and converting the 125 labor hours to dollars by multiplying by $15 gives us 0 0.53. So each dollar of labor yields 0 0.53 units of output. Finally, converting both output and labor to dollars yields 10.67, so each dollar of labor yields $10.67 of output. For the rest of the calculations, we will use dollars for everything. We already know that the 1,000 units of output are valued at $20,000. To convert the material to dollars, we multiply the 200 pounds times $5 for $1,000. Dividing $20,000 by $1,000 gives us material productivity of 20. 
so each dollar of material yields $20 of output. For the labor and material multi-factor productivity, we add the $1,875 labor cost to the $1,000 material cost to get a combined cost of $2,875. Dividing that into $20,000 gives us productivity of 6.96, .96, so each dollar of variable cost yields $6.96 .96 of output. Adding the $2,000 of overhead yields total cost of $4,875. Dividing that into the $20,000 of output yields 4.10, so each dollar of input yields $4.10 of output. If you found that this video helped you with your operations management problem, please consider liking the video and even subscribing to the channel.